Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to animate a face using the pose morph tag and this tutorial is gonna be a little bit longer than usual but I'm sure with the first minutes you will get an idea of how this technique works so let's try to do this as fast as we can so I'm not stealing so much time from you but I hope it will be useful so let's start first of all I have imported a mesh as you can see uh, I'm gonna put some links in the description so you can find some uh, 3d models online or you can use your own of course so uh, at first we need to be sure that our mesh is editable so if it's not just press C on the keyboard or go here and make it editable after done that let's go to a uh, polygon mode okay and um, first of all we are gonna decide what we are gonna move uh, I think for this case we are gonna move the eyebrows, the eyelids, a little bit the nose, the cheeks and the lips. But you can move anything really like uh, the forehead or the ears but for this tutorial we are going to do that. So go to uh, life selection tool and let's select some eyebrows. Sorry, my cat. Oh. Okay, so let's try to be as even as possible. Like, same, okay. So now we have the eyebrows. I'm gonna choose also these. <laughs> okay, now, uh, ow. Let's go to uh, select, set selection. And we get this little triangle which is the polygon selection tag. So now let's rename this eyebrows. Okay, so now we have the eyebrows. We are gonna do the set selection for all the polygons we need. This is gonna help us a lot in case we do some mistakes. We don't need all the time to select the same polygons, but we just, we just go back to the selection tag. So be sure that you are not selected you didn't select the um the little triangle so press an empty space so it's not selected and also here just press somewhere around and now let's select the right eyelid press ul to do loop selection and keep shift and select as many loops around the eye oops Z to go back, but I think you know what it is. Okay, so we have is this too much? Maybe it's too much. So now um, let's go to select. No, just joking. We need to go to live selection and press command to deselect, keep command pressed to deselect what we don't want. So we want only the upper I lead so something like that okay so select be sure that we are not in this and let's rename it I, I lead air because it's right okay so now we are not in the same triangle and let's select the <coughs> UL and let's select the left I lead now UL uh, and press shift to select more loops and like this it should be fine yeah now um, go to live selection pre keep press command and deselect what you don't need okay so now we have the eyelid, go to select, set selection, eyelid L, let's rename it eyelid L, okay, now we do the same for the cheeks, so we are not in the same, okay, cheeks, try to not go too near the eye because uh, later you will see why 
because otherwise it will modify the eye as well. So if you have done some mistake, just press command to deselect what you don't want. Okay, something like that is fine. And as well, let's try to be equal from other side. Yeah, one more. Okay, so this should be fine. And go to select, set selection, and let's rename it cheeks. So now we have the cheeks. Let's do the same for the nose. A little bit. Same for the other side. I hope I'm being even, but it's okay. Oops, it's not even. Let's deselect these ones. Okay, so. We have the nose and let's go to select, set selection and call it nose. Okay, now we need to do something for the lips. Okay, so UL, okay, click on, yeah, let's do the upper lip first. Probably it depends a lot about your mesh because I, here there is a hole. Be sure you have a hole somehow because we need to animate it and move, make movement. So um, probably if you press UL, it is gonna go all the way, like all the lip. So I'm gonna do that because maybe you have same. So I'm gonna select all the loops. First up, first up, down. There is some problem here with the mesh, but yeah, probably you don't have problems with the mesh. Hopefully, I'm gonna go near and select this one as well because I don't want problems. Okay, yeah. So now we have the mouth and go to select, set selection, and let's call it mouth. Okay, ooh, what I did, okay, nothing. So now let's double click on the mount, but at the same time we have selected this and let's uncheck, like uh, unhighlight, I don't know how to say it, sorry for my English. Let's press in an empty space and go back here. So as you can see, it's not selected. So we can create a new set selection uh, but we have this highlighted already. So now let's do the upper lip and press command to deselect the lower. Okay. Now select, set selection, upper lip. Okay, now same, double click on the mouth, deselect the mouth, but we have them highlighted and let's do the lower lip now. So command, press command, keep it and deselect what you don't want. Okay, so select, set selection, lower lip. Is it bottom lip or lower lip? Okay, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so now we have everything selected. Let's check. So we have the eyebrows, the eyelids. Oh, did I select it together? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. So I go back here and wait. I will just okay, I will show you how to overwrite a polygon selection. So I have double click here and it's selected as you can see. I go come I press command and keep it 
and I deselect this, go back to select and set selection. So now it kind of save. Yeah, so they're not anymore together. Now we have the cheeks, the nose, the lips, the upper lip and the lower lip. Okay, now let's start. We have everything. We need to add the pose morph tag. So go to character tags. Oh, I went, I right click on the object, character tag and pose morph tag. Okay, so deselect this. And I'm going to choose the points under the mixing here. Okay, so as you can see, we are in the editing mode. There is two modes here, the editing and the animate. In the editing, you can edit, of course, the poses. As you can see, we have a base pose, which is exactly th this, what we see. So it's going to be this. Okay. So this is the first pose what we are gonna animate and we are gonna call it eye, eyebrows up. So this is our first pose and we are gonna see how it works. So we have done already selection so let's, let's be here on the eyebrows. These have to be highlighted, double click on the polygon selection tag of the eyebrows okay so now we have we are here okay don't move anything yet go to live selection tool this this one we need to change the mode to soft selection okay this is really important um i'm gonna check surface and i'm gonna put the mode to all so this is going to be a really important tool and we're going to play around with the radius and the strength as well. So try to choose something that keeps only the eyebrows. This yellow area is the area that we are going to move. And it should not cover the eyes. Be sure that it doesn't move. So cover only this area and play around with the radius. Let's see how it works. So as soon as you, you're happy with your selection and you can test it, be sure you are on the eyebrows up. Okay, go back to the pose move tag. And now pressing E on the keyboard, we can go up. And as you can see, it creates some smooth selection. It's really handy way. So I go up, up, up. Okay, so now we have done our animation. Now from this mode, let's go to animate. As you can see here, um, we have our first pose, which is eyebrows up. And we have the strength, which is the strength is gonna cover all the poses. All the poses are gonna be here, but we're gonna see that soon. So uh, if we lower it down and up, we can see that already something is moving and if you like are animating and you think this is too high you can always animate from here to here so I believe like it's always nice to have a little bit more than what I usually will go so that I can decide how much I need but yeah now we have the first pose let's go to the editing mode and add a new pose this is gonna be the eyebrows down. Okay, so now we are bringing, we are doing an angry face. We have already this selected, but you can go back to double click here and remember if you need to play around, just go to live selection and you can always play around with the settings. But for now, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, and I just go down and make this guy angry. Yes, I'm angry. Okay. So now if you go to animate, let's uh, put this down because they kind of merge together. If you want to see the result, you just try it. I think it's good. Okay. And as you can see, what happens when you mix this together, it's going to do the halfway kind of. But if you put this down, it will go all the way up. I think you already got the idea okay so so now we are gonna add 
Oh, let's do the difficult ones. So you can add also like um, you can like for example just animate one eyebrow by deselecting this and bring it up. Uh, but I'm not gonna do this in, tutor in this tutorial. You can do it yourself. It's it's the same process all the time. So just hope you get it. Okay, so now let's do a really tricky part, which is the eyelids. Eyelid air. So the eyelids are really difficult in my opinion because I haven't found yet a super clean way to do this and if you guys know something just suggest in the description so that me and also everyone else can know how this could work best but I'm pretty happy with what I end up doing. I have tried many techniques and this is what I came up with. So we have selected the eyelid air, okay, and we are in the eyelid air pose. So as you can see, if we go back to the live selection, uh, it's selecting also the lower lid. As you see, the yellow part is going. We don't need that. So we need to somehow play around with these settings and try to try to make the this part this yellow part not go under the eyelid i'm going to reduce the selection to see if it helps as you can see it's already helping so yeah i think it's okay let's reduce a bit the radius yeah and let's try Let's see what it happens. So we are here. Press E on the keyboard and let's bring it down. Okay, don't worry about the geometry, but be sure that the mesh doesn't touch each other. I mean, these eyelids doesn't touch each other. That the polygons doesn't overlap somehow. Okay, as you see, as you can see, this is gonna be step by step. So gonna select these and reduce the radius again okay so we are almost all the way down and what I'm gonna do now to make this a mesh a little bit more smoother I press command A so I select everything I go to sculpt brushes and I choose the smooth tool. Let's reduce the size of the smooth tool and also the pressure and we're gonna smooth up this weird geometry just by going. If you have Wacom you're lucky. I mean I do have it but I currently using this too much pressure. I'm using mouse so, so yeah just smooth it up that it looks even. Let's see? Yeah. Now let's go back to live selection and press here and let's try to bring it down again. As you can see, it's a step. It's all the time steps. I'm gonna deselect this. Okay, so now it's done. So now we have an eye that closes. Yay! Now wait, they're moving on. Okay, as you can see, it's closing. So this is the technique what I got. And if you guys have a better one, just let me know. I'm gonna do the same now for the other eyelid. So if I'm not wrong, it's gonna be this one. Okay, so go back to the uh, pose mode tag and go to edit mode and let's add another pose and call it eyelid L. Okay, so now we do the same. Let's try to deselect something. I think it depends a lot about mesh. I have done the same technique on other meshes and in some mesh and it works really like fast. I just go down and boom, it's perfect. But yeah. 
I found this really tricky on mesh that has a lot of polygons. I'm not sure I've said that already. <laughs> okay, let's go back to live selection. And if you play, you need to play around. Oh, and maybe if you need also restrict, I'm not gonna use it, but you can check what it does. And it really like choose only these and a little bit the selection of the next polygons. But yeah, this is what I need now. So I'm bringing it down. Now let's reduce this again. And bring it down. I have a problem with this mesh, it's not even and that's some weird stuff, but I hope you have better mesh than me. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna reduce this radius. I think I'm gonna select a radius. Let's see. Okay, and let's go back. And let's move it up. So, Command A, Skull, Brushes, Smooth. And we have the same settings. I have some weird geometry here, but I think if you have good mesh, then it should not be a problem. Okay, I hope it's fine. And again, we need to go to live selection and press somewhere. And we bring it down again. Now I will. I think I should. Just a second. I will rise a little bit, so that it takes a little bit all. I think it's okay. The guys being. I think it's okay. Okay. So let's see how it looks. Ah. Cool. I'm so happy. Yes. Let's see. Yeah. I'm blinking. I'm so blinking. Okay, great. Now let's continue because we need to do this fast. And let's add a new pose. Uh, we are gonna animate the nose. Yeah, let's do the nose. So as you know, like when we talk, sometimes our nose goes a little bit wider. So we're gonna do that. Let's animate that. So it's gonna be select the nose, okay? So I'm thinking what is the best way to do this. I think first, yeah, we should have done it in different set selections, but let's be here anyway and go to command and deselect the left one and go to live selection, play with the settings how much you want and bring it a little bit, just a little bit. Hope it's not too much. A little bit, okay. And in the same pose, I'm gonna reselect the nose here, command for this one, and I'm in the pose and bring it a little bit to the left. Okay, okay. so yeah, it's really a small detail, but it kind of like when you com do conversation, like when you do the talking phase. It does make a difference in my opinion. So yeah, now let's add the cheeks. I'm talking too much. Let's add the cheeks and we think they were here. Let's go to live selection. You have selected this already. And as you can see, you need to pay attention. You don't touch this part. So that the yellow is not that, it's not going over. Let's try how it's with this, but you can play around, take your time to see what is best for you. Uh, press E on the keyboard and we have this. Let's bring it up in Y axis. Ok, 
okay and what I'm gonna do also is pressing T on keyboard and drag just to get a little bit like these cheeks going out I hope this is not too strong I need to check how it looks so we are in the cheeks go to animate to test yeah I think it's not bad it's like smiling okay now let's go back to edit and we are gonna do the lips let's put upper lip no let's do the bottom lip first bottom oh it's bottom lip or lower lip okay so i rename it the lower lip down i press on it and then i go to i think it was this one lower lip Okay, as you can see now we press live selection and as you can see we have too much selection here. And for example if you bring it down it looks like some puppet or something. So let's play with these radius. And as well let's deselect by press keeping press command. And as you saw I have selected a little bit over the uh, borderline because I think it creates a little bit more realistic movement when you speak actually you move all this area so I think this looks okay let's see how it is so I'm in the lower lip down press E on the keyboard and I bring it down on the Y axis oh it looks good go extreme you can always modify have a problem with the mesh I apologize I think I have done some weird stuff there okay but yeah so now let's see the animation yeah these are disconnected but yeah it's a problem of my mesh but yeah this will be it okay so now let's do the upper lip. Is it upper? Oh, what I did! Oh my god. Okay, I have add a pose and the um, upper lip. Then this goes up. Okay, so select uh, upper lip, and. Uh, I think here let's go to the live selection deselect as well as you can see it's creating some kind of restrict and I have all the time the same problem so I just go a little bit over and it select the area I want I think now the radius is too much I think it's okay and I'm bringing it press E on the keyboard and bring it up So let's go to check how it looks. Hey, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm angry. No, 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 no. Okay, this the tutorial actually, and I hope these have been useful. I haven't seen tutorials about using the smooth tool to kind of uh, fixing the edges during this but uh, I hope it's gonna be useful and yeah if you want to animate of course I forgot to say this you just need to for example let's try um, I usually go to the animation layout okay and I have my morph tag and let's say I want the eyebrows from I go here okay and I don't know after choose Two frames, is it frames, seconds? Let's go up. So if you go all the way, you have already an animation there. <laughs> but 
But yeah, you can play around with this. And yeah, I hope this tutorial has been useful. Thank